So, according to my clock, it's 11.50, and uh, we have now the pleasure to keep you away from lunch as long as possible. So we'll do our very best to make a very long session so that lunch is actually empty when you leave the room. Um, so, um, Matthias and I are going to talk about observ observability in OpenStack and uh, going to present the learnings and building blocks from the Special Interest Group Monitoring at the SCS project. The Special Interest Group Monitoring is a group of people from various CSPs that meet once per week, where we actually exchange ideas on how monitoring and observability should be done. So, who are we? Um, to, to my right, left, is Matthias. Matthias Fechner works at OSISM, which is one of the companies that uh, are part of the SCS project and who actually develop a good part of the reference implementation of the sovereign cloud stack. And um, Matthias has a fairly long history in uh, infrastructure, and he previously worked at Noah's Cloud, and is also one of the guys who built up the Plus Cloud Open that is based on SCS. Yeah. Felix has been building infrastructure since the 90, late 90s. He's been a part of various open source projects such as OpenBSD, Open Darwin, the last years before joining to SCS project, he was responsible for the technical part of Gridsquare. He has been a long time member of ex extended board of the OSB Alliance. Thanks, Matthias. So um, before we dive into the learnings and building blocks from the ZIG monitoring, I'm actually going to quickly explain what the sovereign cloud stack actually is and what the project is about. So. The vision is um, that the sovereign cloud stack is a federal cloud technology built entirely with open source software, putting users and providers in control. Um, since we think that only open source guarantees digital sovereignty by interoperability, transparency, and independence from unlawful claims of third parties, and thus from any unauthorized interference. Those two are actually quotes from, from our website. And um, I like to include them every time I present the project because they very good describe what, what we want to do. We have five goals with SCS, which are standardization, certification, transparency, sustainability, as well as federation. So if I say SCS, the sovereign cloud stack, is both a reference implementation as well as standard that we are building. Who's behind the project? The project is uh, a project of the Open Source Business Alliance and is supported by the Federal Ministry of, uh, for Economic Affairs and Climate Action. Um, the Open Source Business Alliance is a nonprofit organization to sanction open source in Germany. Um, we have roughly 190 companies as members and it uh, resulted uh, or was funded as a result of a merger of two previous organizations that also tried to work on a political level for Linux and open source. Um, the SCS stack is actually comprised of a compute storage network, the container layer, and further services. Um, you see on uh, this slide, I'm actually going to move my head out of it, that uh, you will see a lot of uh, familiar things uh, in the reference implementation coming all from OpenStack. And uh, the container layer here is um, what actually then is the standard that we build. The infrastructure layer is actually what we call an optional standard. So basically, one could also use the container layer on a different foundation than OpenStack. And um, you see here a lot of the, the projects that uh, we use and that we build up on. In the description for this talk, we actually have that uh, the sovereign cloud stack is built on the shoulder of giants. So basically, we, we take a lot of these projects, we build up on them, but SCS is not a fork of OpenStack. We actually work as much upstream as possible. So we actually make sure that the companies that work on a sovereign cloud stack don't work on sovereign cloud stack by forking code and having it in SCS, but we actually make sure that the people work upstream and that all good stuff ends up upstream and then just trickles back down. 
Um, by that, we actually want to strengthen the open source ecosystem and want to make sure that actually the, the project that everyone benefits from, that those are actually healthy instead of having it somewhere else forked. So that was a quick dive through SCS. And with that, I think Matthias wants to talk a bit about observability. Sure. The definition of um, the expression observability. What kind of expression? Observability is just uh, modern monitoring. Wikipedia say this sentence to this. Observab observability is measure how well inter internal states of systems can be inferred from knowledge from internal outputs. Felix, what is this picture meaning? Well, actually, uh, actually what you see here is what observing and mon monitoring of a simple web server could look like. So you have one very simple service that you observe and that you can monitor, very simple. And if you actually talk about observability in cloud infrastructure, it looks more like that because it's a whole different different beast that you actually have to tackle because uh, it features all sorts of things and not just a simple service. Matthias, why don't you explain why that is the case? That is the case. OpenStack is a hard to monitor because it's like an iceberg um, from monitoring perspective. Too many infrastructures are under the watermark. Let us steal the SCS stack its fire itself. Let's take a little journey from the past to the present into the future of the observability inside the SCS stack. In the beginning is to how build this SCS stack on a greenfield, and the next question, how to monitor this. Oof. The answer in the most companies are the existing Nagios, Isinga, or fancy solutions. They are well proved. In, the most, in most cases, they are flexible, customized, and in most cases, they are far away to be standard. There are limits. You will informed, but they observe of the complete environment and the foresight, foresight um, events will find difficult. So, what is the manner to design this? In the ZIG, we discuss about the best practices we have collected since years. If talk agile as an operator, we want to observe and visualization of our infrastructure and services. And if we talk as a customer, we want to observe behavior-based observability. One proof, the pudding, is to eating it. Open metric systems like Prometheus has a benefit to create it much easier. With the available exporters for every needed task, you will observe about all information of our environment. You are able to combine metrics with the Prometheus queries to create alert rules. With metrics, you are able to get a whole picture of the environment. If you need an exporter which not exists, of course it's possible to read it on your own. So the declaration for the decision for our ZIG was very fast clear to use open metrics as a base system for the SCS stack as the first iteration Prometheus. And as an operator, we are focused on infrastructure and as a customer, we are focused on behavior-based observability. Let's focus to the infrastructure parts. We have here from the operator side, we have from the integrator side, and we have also from a vendor. And if we switch the software components, we have Grafana, we have Prometheus, and all our needs we have. So, in the community we discovered that the most need of most companies are the same. So Stack HPC and Plus Server had a good base of alert rules, um, Grafana dashboards which based on the awesome alert rules, so we begin to integrate it to our system. So one of the things that uh, Kurt and I already mentioned yesterday quickly in our talk on open operations is that we do behavior-based monitoring of uh, SCS clouds. We do that um, through the public APIs that are available, and through that we actually create workload and measure the time that takes to create the workload until it's fully available. So, and by that, we not only monitor availability, but also get a very clear view of performance delivered to the end customer. And um, 
when, uh, when I joined uh, the SCS project, uh, the OpenStack Health Monitor has been existing for quite a few years since uh, Kurt wrote it back when he was at uh, Open Telecom Cloud. And um, is actually, and that's not a joke, it's a 4,000 line shell script. And um, in uh, one of the first sessions where I was in, we actually discussed how we could extend that and uh, quickly came to the conclusion that while the OpenStack Health Monitor, the way it is currently, works really well and is awesome, hardly any one of us can actually maintain it in a, in a good manner without uh, with keeping sanity. And um, it's actually the OpenStack Health Monitor is um, what we call, uh, you need to measure what you manage. And basically, with that, we can uh, graph out all the details of the, of the SCS clouds. So on the other way, we have the Grafana dashboards for the OpenStack. And also, at the next page, we have the um, Ceph dashboard. But here we see the states of um, OpenStack, like the course, the RAM, uh, how many um, instances run at the moment. And um, yeah, we have a good neutron state and something else. On the ne next dashboard, we see the healthy of a uh, Ceph cluster. Which it's OK for the size, I think so. So now we, in our journey to the present, yeah, we now continuous contribution with the awesome alert rules. And the rules are shared on GitHub. We present in OSISM. We have here, and some of the rules are a little bit from the awesome Prometheus alerts uh, grab too. And the other things a little bit um, from the experience of Plus Server and Stack HPC. So we come now to the future in our journey. And par part of actually what, what, is, what is the work is that the stuff that is being developed now in this Caller Operations repository is then actually supposed to end up in the official Caller repositories. To so so bring it upstream, right. So and from my understanding, it was also discussed at some PTG. Um, Correct. Yeah. So the future. Which are the tasks we want to serve to? Their observability. It's more than metrics. We have capacity management. We have also um, aggregating accounting, uh, accounting, ag aggregated accounting, and um, there's some challenges. Um, capacity management for the business case for every company. They want to know how growing up their, their clusters and their environment. And the other point, we want to build this. And I think one of the topics we actually discussed in the last months, Matthias, was how we actually observe OVN. That's correct. We have an, it, 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 it exists one um, OVN exporter from Paul Greenberg that served um, our need. But the problem with this is in a OVN, Open Virtual Media, uh, Open Virtual um, Network, uh, SDN, we have such components they uh, want to um, yeah, observe. But every component of this needs this uh, OVN exporter, um, which are yeah, it's designed to really uh, huge, uh, deliver the huge metrics, and there are some duplicated data, and that is a challenge to, to solve this in the future. Moving the uh, behavior-based monitoring from uh, the shell script further, we ventured into looking at existing frameworks such as uh, Rally or Tempest. I'm sure both of those are, are known to you. And, um, with uh, Andre from Plus Server, we actually dove into, into Rally fairly far to, to see how we can make Rally work the way we actually would like it to work, and then kind of found out that by, by doing that with Rally, we would actually abuse Rally for something that's not meant to do. And um, then we looked a bit further, looked uh, elsewhere, and then we actually found out that um, the guys at OTC actually um, in the last years, um, developed what used to be the shell script into something that is really, really cool and uh, is already pretty awesome. And um, uh, as far as I know, it was presented at the last uh, virtual Open Infra Summit. Um, the talk was called Yet Another OpenStack Monitoring Solution. And um, there's also the YouTube link to exactly that talk. And um, what we will now actually do is see um, how we can actually take that and make it work in a way that it's useful for more than just OTC, but also for other OpenStack environments, such as clouds based on SCS, and uh, make sure that we collaborate there in a, in a good fashion. And of course, um, if you talk observability, there's much more than uh, just 
metrics coming from, from systems. Uh, there's also logs. And um, we actually looked in the ZIG monitoring, what do we want to do in regard to, to log analysis? Of course, um, if, you, if you talk logs, there come several use cases to mind. So we, we went through them and initially started with, OK, it's cool to, to use them for debugging, um, but also maybe to proactively detect certain error states that you can do something about it before it breaks, um, predictive maintenance. And uh, the moment we started discussing the use of log and how we do log shipping, of course, legal aspects came to mind because all other sort of things came then. And um, then we, we kind of discussed, OK, if, you, if you're starting on a green field with an SCS deployment, you want to have a log analysis that comes with it. But in a, a lot of cases, you don't start greenfield. You already are in a CSP environment where you have some sort of big log analysis already running. So it also needs to be made sure that we actually ship those logs to an external place. And that's, um, that's a good example on how we collaborate in the Sovereign Cloud Stack project, because CSPs come together and actually talk how they would benefit from such a, such a solution and bring in their requirements so that we can identify requirements that correlate between all of them and make sure to address them. And um, of course, um, you have a cloud, you have customers, and you want to write invoices for those. And then we started talking about the, the topic of metering, because if you have metrics, you can also do, do metering. And um, out of the uh, special interest group, we had then uh, a metering meetup. Where that took part for a few weeks, where actually a few colleagues from Cloud and Heat came together and discussed how they would actually tackle the, the subject of metering. And uh, as far as, I'm, as I know, we're actually going to have a tender running for it, because the way SCS works is that with the, the funding that we have from the federal ministry, we are running tender projects that companies then can apply for and then actually can develop the stuff and being paid for exactly that. So that's uh, something we're going to do with uh, regard to metering. And um, one, of the, one of the core principles is that we want to make sure that uh, best practices for cloud stacks are actually shared and documented so that uh, the difficulty to provide high quality cloud services is actually lowered. So now, what we covered for the technical aspects? What are the learnings from the ZIG, Felix? Well, that uh, collaboration over competition is actually the paradigm of the hour. So um, we, we want to make sure that all the, all the CSPs that we, we have in our, in our group actually collaborate instead of seeing each other as, as mere competition. Well, even though there are customers that uh, move from, from CSP A to CSP B, I would actually like to see a whole lot of customers coming from the big hyperscalers over to all the small CSPs, because that's actually the, the cake that I see. And uh, so I think it's time to collaborate instead of mm. compete. So if uh, this has somehow in raised your interest, um, I would really like to invite you to check out these GitHub repos. So top is Sovereign Cloud Stack, and the bottom one is uh, the GitHub organization from OSISM. And um, I'm going to leave you. Of course, there's going to be a recording, so you can always grab that. We have the QR code a little bit covered. If I'm not standing in front of it, exactly. Thanks. And um, I would also like to invite you not to only um, look at the organizations on GitHub, but also actually uh, join the effort. So there, there is an active matrix uh, group that you can join. And every Friday at 12.05, we actually have our ZIG monitoring meeting. So um, show up and uh, discuss with us, um, bring, bring in ideas, um, help us um, get some insights that you can take back to, you, to your company or organization. Yeah. And um, with that, uh, are there questions? Don't tell me you just all want to go for lunch and have no questions. I'm devastated. So I don't have any questions. 
I'm a bit baffled. Okay, no questions. So, um, and there's of course uh, the obvious end slide with uh, the other contact information. Yeah. Thank you to the audience. Thanks. Thanks for listening. Hat euch der Talk hier gefallen? Der beste von allen. <lacht>